I did a riddle a few weeks ago, and I've taken the time to rebuild that riddle in a way that we can manipulate it, work on it, and test it. Because the claim I'm making is, even when that lamp is not lit, there is current flowing through it. How could I prove that? Let's get into it. In case you haven't seen the riddle, here it is. And these wires come out from under the book. And the light won't come on until I clip that wire. What do you think is going on under the book? This is the wire I cut. So I'm saying even when connected, there's current that flows that way. Because electricity will not take only the path of least resistance. Electricity will take all paths available to it in proportion to the resistance. Okay, here are the two paths, this way and that way. And the current will be in proportion or inversely proportional to that resistance. I don't have the meters that can tell me the exact difference in resistance because all my meters read this as a dead short. And my other meter will tell me that's 42 ohms. Now, if I did the math off of table three, I mean table eight correctly on estimating the resistance of this path, the difference in resistance between the two paths could be as much as 20,000 times more less resistance in this path compared to that path. But it's somewhere between like 10,000 or 30,000. I don't know. I usually don't do math on my page because it's, I usually mess it up. But this path is way better. We, we all agree there, right? Okay, we're using the heat blanket. And currently with the heat blanket, the heat blanket draws 1.5 amps. And whatever this is drawing is way below the ability for my meter to detect. All right, my first and most important thing to getting that to be a detectable level is this little trick you can do with your amp probe. See how it's 1.5? Well, if you double up the wire, you double up the reading. See that? So if two reps doubles the wire, what the hell is that gonna do? Let's put it on there and see what we get for a reading. All right, I've plugged in that amp probe there, and now it's reading the current on the entire circuit. And right now the current on the entire circuit is still 1.5. So what is it in this guy? Over the limit of 40, hold on. 90 amps. That's giving me a reading of 90 amps on that meter when it's really 1.5. So this contraption will multiply the load by about 60. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do to try to get this to a level enough we can detect it with my meters, change out the load from a 1.5 amp heat blanket to a 14 amp hot plate. All right, we're up and running. We're running off the hot plate. This circuit's closed. That cir this is open. This is what my amp probes say, 13 and change, and zero. Now when I close this circuit, 0 0.23, 0 0.23 going on that path now. If I were open the circuit and light the bulb, I get 12. The actual is only 0.2, and I'm getting 12. So this looks really easy now that I've worked it out, but there was a lot of problems with this. So I'm open to the idea that I've somehow messed up the process and I'm not detecting what I think I am. If somebody can explain it to me differently. Um, but yeah, show my methods. Let me know what you think. Let me show you something I found out after playing with it. I ended the video open to me maybe being wrong, but I kept doing tests. I think this test I did confirms 100% I am detecting the current there. Check this out. Okay, let me add this one thing that I don't get good consistent results on this because it's just too small a differences for my meter. But let me show you. We get 41.6 ohms across the light bulb, including through that. 41.6 ohms. So let's go to our ohms law calculator. And we do 41.6. All right, now let's turn it on and see what the voltage is. All right, now I have it energized. And the voltage, in one of my videos, I said there's no difference. I mean, there's no practical difference. It's 0 0.2 volts. You see that? 0 0.2 volts. So let's go over to the Ohm's Law calculator and see what we get when we punch in 0 0.2 volts. Calculate. Current is 0 0.0048, and 0 0.0048 times the 60 on the wraps is 0 0.228. Well, let's see what we get. 0 0.28. Pretty cool.
Oh, it just not went down. So, I am detecting the proper current through there, I believe. Thank you very much.